Hello, hello. My name is Lemi. I am a teacher of chemistry. Today, we are going to talk about the forms of carbon. Carbon is an element located on the periodic table. It is number six. This means its atomic number is six. The number of electrons also is six. Its atomic mass is 12. As we have said, our topic today is the forms of carbon. We have to talk about the two main terms in this topic. We have the term allotropy and another term called allotropy. The term allotropy is the existence of an element in two or more forms. This means they are some elements that can be in different forms. And then we have another term called the allotropy. Allotropy are different forms of the same element. Or we can say are different forms that can be formed in an element. We have examples of elements that have different allotropes. We have, for example, carbon, we have sulfur, we have phosphorus, and also we have another element like oxygen. We have the main allotropes of carbon, which are diamond, graphite, and the amorphous carbon. About these allotropes of carbon, we have to know the two main words. Allotropes of carbon are divided into two. One is called the crystalline forms of carbon. Another is called the non-crystalline forms of carbon. When we say crystalline forms of carbon, this means are forms which have regular structure. There are two main crystalline forms of carbon. We have diamond and graphite. Non crystalline forms of carbon, they are also called the amorphous carbon. There are different examples of non crystalline forms. We have coal, we have coke, we have charcoal, and also we have another form called the soot. Here we have the structure of diamond and the graphite. On the left side, we have diamond. On the right side, we have graphite. This is the structure of a diamond. If you look well, the atoms in this structure are tightly one to another. But about this graphite, they are atoms are really tightly, but one is free according to this Van der Waals forces. Let's talk about the physical properties of diamond. Diamond is insoluble in water. It does not conduct electricity and heat. What does it mean? Diamond does not conduct electricity because it has no free electrons. Diamond is colorless. It is transparent and dazzling, which is also called the sparkless. This is according to its beautiful, according to its appearance. Diamond is a very hard substance. It has high melting point of 3,700 degrees Celsius. It has high density about 3.5 gram per centimeter cube. Let's continue by talking about the physical properties of graphite. Graphite as diamond is insoluble in water. 
it conducts electricity because it has delocalized all free electrons responsible for carrying electric current. It is soft and slippery. This means grease to touch. Graphite, it has high melting point about 3,500 degrees Celsius. It is a good conductor of heat. Graphite, it is a black in color and opaque. It has a log density of 2.3 gram per centimeter cube by comparing with the diamond. We are going to talk about the differences between diamond and the graphite. Remember, these are the main allotropes of carbon, which are crystalline. And then here we have the difference between diamond and the graphite. Diamond is hard, while graphite is soft. Another difference. Diamond is an excellent electrical insulator, while graphite is a conductor of electricity. Diamond is colorless, while graphite is black in color. Diamond has a high density, about 3.5 gram per centimeter cube, while graphite has a low density, about 2.3 gram per centimeter cube by comparing. Another property which shows the difference between diamond and the graphite, diamond is highly transparent while graphite is opaque. Diamond crystallizes in the cubic system while graphite crystallizes in the hexagonal system. Let's continue by talking about the similarities between the diamond and the graphite. Both are allotropes of carbon. Another similarity, both are covalently bonded. Remember, covalent bond is a kind of bond formed between two nanometers. Both have a very high melting point. Both diamond and graphite are a giant structure of carbon atoms. Both are insoluble in the water. These are some similarities that we have between diamond and the graphite. Let's talk about the uses of these main allotropes of carbon. Let's start about uses of graphite. Graphite is used as electrodes in dry cells. This means it is a good conductor of electricity. It is used to make pencil readers. It is used as a lubricant in the place of grease or oil. Another use of graphite, it is used as a moderator in the nuclear reactors. Here we have uses of diamond. Diamond is used in making jewelry. This is according to its appearance. Remember, diamond is transparent. It shines. That's why we say it is used in a making jewelry. It is used for making drilling tools. This is a kind of tool that makes a hole in a metal or in a tree. It is used for cutting glass. Diamond also is used in the chromatography to separate compounds. This is a method of separating mixtures. You remember, in the senior one, we studied different 
methods that use it to separate mixtures. This method of chromatography really used it to separate colors. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time to watch this video. Subscribe on this and try to share. You can comment will help us for preparing next topic. Thank you. Have a nice day.